Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning P6. Today we are here with the important topic which is how the trace logic or network logic diagram works in Primavera P6. So what is trace logic? Trace logic is a tool in Primavera P6 professional that enables you to step through or trace through schedule activities in order to focus in on activity predecessor and successor relationship the trace logic tool displays relationship for any activity you select in the activity table or in the gantt chart or for the entire project basically trace logic is a visualizer tool which shows you the activities relationship how they behave with the help of a diagram today we will learn how we can see or trace the logic of the project and how we can print that trace logic and how we can save that layout in the our system to see the logic of activities so let's move forward to our topic open your primavera p6 schedule and open the project i have arranged the columns like that activity id activity name plant duration predecessors successors start and finish and here you can see journal status resources predecessor successor and relationship at the bottom first of all we will check how we can show the trace logic you will go on the top toolbar and see this button trace logic click on it and after the clicking you can see here the logic for that activity is this one for the wbs not showing for that activity is this one for that activity is this one and for that activity is this one this is how you can see the logic you can see if you double click on that foundation masonry then it will zoom in the second option you can go here and go right click on the bottom tab and go to the trace logic option option here you can see trace logic option number of predecessor levels just say up to 10 i want to see and then number of successor level up to 10 numbers we want to see apply okay now if you have assigned more than one successors then it will be showing here as a logical the relationship status how many activities are connected with the previous activities like there is only one successor then one successor then one successor then one successor if you double click on it you can see the logic and the gap for on the activities if you zoom and zoom out if we go here and we want to see this one just go to that activity suppose that we have this activity of of steel work click on it and if you see the successor of this activities go to the options and minimize it apply successor level up to 5 you can see here apply the zooming option it will depends on the zoom for apply okay now you can see here for this activity this activity is a1060 is this activity and it's belong to the these successors and then if we go to the activity a1080 you can see here a1080 successor detail here predecessors are also here 
this is how you can track your logic you can see the predecessors and successors and relationship of the activities if you you want to see like that individual activity you can see only click on it you cannot move it but you can see the relationship if you put back this one then you can see the relationship status with the lags this is how you can use trace logic in primavera p6 and now you can see here this one now we will learn how we can print this trace logic or how we can save that layout first of all we will print this trace logic as individual go to the print preview here after the print preview go to the options in options you can first of all select fit to one two three whatever you want to print page a2 size then apply and then go to the option here we will select project start and also you can see the trace logic from the dates select the dates and then you can see it unselect these all and only select trace logic if you need activities with the trace logic you can select it otherwise if you want to print only trace logic then you can select trace logic apply and ok this is our project trace logic you can see here the entire project trace logic how it's behaving i have just congested this schedule with the multi relationships for example to show you how it is behaving and with this you can print it as a pdf as a printer whatever you have you can print it from here this is how you can print it now cancel it and close it the second option is how we can save the layout for the trace logic go to the view and in layouts open layout we cannot save this one go to the default global layouts and see the critical path logic view apply that one and open now this is for that wbs it's showing the logic for as the wbs level you can see here as wbs level this one and if you go as your project level you can see this one and if you want to print that wbs logic layout then go to the print option and with the same method you can print it fit to one okay apply header footer these settings which i have already described you can change with the same method this is how you can see your uh, track your logic or see the behavior of your schedule hope you understand our today's topic please like share comment on our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz